So Pasco native Tiffany Smiley is taking on a career politician, Democratic Senator Patty Murray, who is seeking her sixth term in office this fall. The general election is still four months away, but new polling reveals what voters care about and who they think will fix the biggest issues. 18 candidates filed to run for U.S. Senate in Washington state, but two stand out. Republican Tiffany Smiley is challenging the Democratic incumbent, Senator Patty Murray. Smiley, already endorsed by the GOP, faces an uphill battle. In our King 5 poll, 51% choose Murray, with 33% supporting Smiley in a hypothetical head-to-head -head matchup. King 5, The Seattle Times, UW Center for an Informed Public, and the WSU School of Communication commissioned the poll. Murray's 18-point lead isn't stopping Smiley. The poll that I am laser-focused on right now is a primary election August 2nd. And, and November when the voters will cast their votes. Well, obviously it's a very commanding lead, uh, but so much can change between now and the November election. King 5 political analyst Gary Locke points out the undecided 16% will be critical. And certainly both candidates will have to uh, um, address the concerns, the everyday concerns uh, of those independents, the undecideds, the moderates, whether it's on a crime, safety, uh, jobs, uh, prices of everyday goods and services. Inflation is one topic that Smiley is running on. Smiley is a nurse, mother of three, and wife to a veteran blinded by a suicide bomber in Iraq. This is her first time running for office and for a seat not held by a Republican in two decades. King 5 political analyst Scott McClellan sees abortion as one of the hot button issues this election. So there, but there is opportunity there among swing voters uh, to generate some support um, on top of your base in the Democratic side uh, on the issue of just abortion alone. Murray has decried the Supreme Court reversal of Roe versus Wade, while Smiley says she agrees with the court's ruling that abortion should be decided by states. However, you know, I'm against a federal ban on abortion. I would vote no. I, I am against that. I'm going to Washington, D.C. to combat inflation, um, get, you know, become energy independent. Senator Murray was unavailable for an interview on Thursday about the poll, but her campaign provided this statement, saying in part, there's no silver bullet to inflation, but I'm working hard toward real solutions like these that will help people here in Washington state. More from her statement, Murray says those solutions include lowering prescription drug costs and making child care more affordable. Now, Murray surpasses Smiley significantly in fundraising with at least $11 million in her coffers as of April, according to Federal Election Commission filings. Smiley's campaign says they've raised $6.8 million so far. Ballots for the August 2nd primary should be arriving in the mail by early next week at the latest. Back to you.